The left side of the window shows the selected devices, their channel and or fixture numbers. On the right side of the window, available DMX addresses and a soft keypad are displayed. Devices can be deselected and then reselected by clicking on them, allowing individual patching of fixtures as well as patching ranges of fixtures. After selecting the full range of fixtures as shown, we are going to give a starting address of A1. That means the first DMX channel on the first DMX universe. The correct start address with fixture 101 beginning at address A1, fixture 102 beginning at A21, and so on, are displayed in the fixture and channels in layer section. We can now continue to patch the rest of our devices. Select the mid truss layer, choose all fixtures and right click to enter the patch dialog menu. The next free DMX address will be automatically selected for you. In our case it is A115. Accept this starting address by pressing the patch soft key. Your fixtures will be patched accordingly. Repeat those steps for the front truss layer. For the FOH layer, we imagine that we have two lights, each with its own dimmer and DMX addresses being controlled by channel and or fixture number. This is what is called a multi-patch. Select the FOH layer and then left click on the type column header. Press the create multi-patch soft key to open a calculator pop-up window to enter the number of additional lights to be added to each of the selected devices. For example, if you would enter 5, there would be a total of 6 DMX addresses being controlled by each of the selected channels and or fixture numbers. Continuing with our show, we will enter 1, giving us a total number of 2 DMX addresses under the control of each of the selected channel and or fixture numbers. As you can see, each device has now two separate lines in the fixtures and channels in layer section. If required, you can patch each line separately. For our purposes, just select them all and patch them as normal. Finally, all devices are patched. We'll now use the opportunity to set up the physical position of our fixtures in space. Since all the fixtures in the FOH layer are still selected, we'll start with them. Notice three sets of numbers above the encoders at the bottom of the fixture schedule window. If you're on a console other than the full-size Grand MA, you may have to press the list fader or list button hard key in case they are lit. These numbers represent the X, Y and Z position in 3D space of the selected devices. By pressing the position or rotation soft key, you can change whether the encoders are handling the physical position or the physical rotation of the selective devices. Let's have a closer look to the stage view. There is a little green dot in the middle of the stage. This dot represents all your devices sitting on top of each other in the center of the stage. Turning the X encoder counterclockwise moves the selected devices all the way to the left. By turning the Y encoder clockwise, you can move the selected devices downstage. As expected, the C encoder moves the selected devices off the ground. Now, press the Align Hard key once and turn the X encoder clockwise to spread out your fixtures across the front of the stage. Toggle the encoders to rotation by pressing the position rotation soft key. Now turn the X encoder until your lights are pointing to the stage. By selecting individual lights you can precisely manipulate their physical focus.
If you need a different view of your stage, highlight the stage area of the window and turn the encoder located to the right of the display. This gives you access to the horizontal angle of view. Pushing and turning the encoder will change the vertical one. Almost finishing our example, we'll now position the lights on the back truss layer. Since there are moving mirror devices on this layer, we should tilt them up by about 30 degrees. The mid truss layer is handled the same way. Because there are moving head devices on this layer, we will need to rotate them so they are pointing down towards the stage. For the front truss layer, we can again repeat this. Congratulations! You have finished patching. You can finally close the full access window by pressing the close icon at the top right corner. At the prompt, make sure that you press save. Don't save will discard all your work and cancel will return to the full access fixture schedule window.